Pam 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 pam. Ladies and gentlemen, no, this is not Hermitcraft. Today I got invited by Fwip over to his survival single play world. And I have to say, that is the most incredible thing I've seen done in survival Minecraft. Like, so much dedication, so much grind. So I really hope you guys will enjoy this video, right? And if you haven't, check out the links in the description, go to Fwip, subscribe and give him some love because that world is three years in the making and looks absolutely fabulous. Hey everybody and welcome on back to Building with Whip. I am extremely excited today to bring this new world tour to here with y'all. And my guest today is the one and only Corrales. Hey, man. Hey, Whip. Hey, Whip. Hey, thank you so much for joining me today, dude. I am so <laughs> freaking excited to show up this world to you. So we... It is a pleasure to be here. I've seen a little bit of, on this, uh, this part of the world and oh my goodness, it looks absolutely fantastic and breathtaking. <laughs> thank you thank you yeah this one here this is actually the first city that i started in it's went through a few renditions this is uh for everybody on your side this is episode 275 so i've been working in here for a little <laughs> oh while my. now uh the world's uh almost three years old at this point or it might actually be i, I can't remember it's within like the next month or two it's turning three years old but yeah, Holy so this is smokes. this was uh, I originally started out being like I want to make cities and villages around the place that are dedicated around like one resource. So this one here was papyrus for like sugar cane and everything like that. So it's kind of like a Nile River, almost Egyptian inspired city, and then my own spin on all of it. So that's kind of where we got into here. Um, this is absolutely insane. <laughs> it's been built up many, many times over over the years. But it's this is one of my this actually the part you're standing in right now is probably some of the oldest builds in the entire in the entire world that all kind of started off in this area and I absolutely love it. It's so cool to come back and walk through here and just kind of see all of the all of the different life and the everything memories, going on with man. it. So memory lane. Mm -hmm. But I guess it's kinda 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 like the beauty of it, right? Because like you've spent so many years building this and stuff changes, new blocks get added to Minecraft. You can just come back, revisit and tweak and whatnot. Oh this yeah, is... I, I spent way too many hours being like, ah, I got this new thing. Can I just go rebuild that? And it's always a struggle of like, do I build the old thing again or do I go back and just build or do I go build something new? But it's it's been really fun. It's been a lot of trial and error and learning as I go. It's it's really cool seeing, like you're saying, just like the evolution of everything. When I started, um, I, don't, I don't know if you know where I oh yep right over here yeah, yeah. Uh, right. this house here on the corner this was actually where the whole thing started from this was the original starter house right in here so <laughs> the whole world came from this little guy <laughs> and very much is... humble beginnings <laughs> and you've built everything in, in survival or... yes oh my yes goodness. everything is uh everything's survival uh terraforming and all that stuff uh we'll see here <laughs> you'll see uh shortly when i'm saying terraforming it's it's a it's a little insane i, I still don't know why i spent that many hours doing this but <laughs> that but, but i mean it look at that i mean it's absolutely amazing obviously mm -hmm. do you have any like um, idea on how many hours you've spent in the, the, whole, the whole like world uh i think i'm up to 70 77 days of playtime so <laughs> whatever oh that is <laughs> yes a lot, of, a lot of hours oh my, yeah what is quite, this, quite a few of them this is like this was like the original palace of sorts so whoever like the ruler of the city was here and actually right below us is where the mob farm is i wanted to make if i ever make a farm inside this world i didn't want to have those giant things just floating in the sky because i feel like they're kind of ugly when i was building the city originally i was like i'm gonna build a desert garden something there like this a little bit inspired by game of thrones and this came over here and turned into uh, this guy in the last few months. I, I like it a lot, though. One thing I've really fallen in love with recently is like tiny little custom trees and all those sorts oh, of things. Oh, so. you know what? I've started doing a little bit on those. Uh, not on like, not on camera or anything, but uh, it does add so much. Because, you know, like the big like oak trees, my favorite love tree. Uh, yeah, not that pretty anymore. Like doing those they're, they're a little. Trees, <laughs> they look a little bit like lollipops to me. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> got to fix them. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Man, like the, the the ambience over here. Like I can't imagine that dude you didn't uh, done this in like survival. This is like, like I mean, lots fantastic. of blocks. <laughs> lots of blocks. I, yeah, I think you can I'm just a, imagine. I'm nearing in on one million blocks broken with a diamond pickaxe, so it's getting up there. 
But yeah, one of my favorite parts about this area, if you come down here, there's this little sugarcane plantation fields of sorts. I love, oh, especially with shaders on, just walking through these guys. It's just so, so cool. I, this is like one of my favorite parts, just being down in here and like looking at the rest of the city from up above or from ground level, just seeing the skyline of all of it. It's, it's really awesome. It's one of my favorite parts for sure. I'm gonna speechless. This is really, really nice. And how, like, do you revisit like places? Like, let's say you need some resources. Do you come back to places and, and get stuff and, and whatnot? Or yeah, do you have, so this like, city a... actually has the big storage room in it. Uh, over, if you see the little wool area with all the market stalls, yep, there's actually see. this big old blocky thing right here. It's the storage room I've been using. It's uh, it's pretty basic for a storage room, but it's it's done it the works. it's done the deed. For it. So it's just two floors of chess dude those windmills those i wanted to come up with something different for like a windmill design and these just i was playing age of empires 2 when it's they brought so out nice. that remastered edition i was just like yes i'm taking my war elephants everywhere and i need to get some <laughs> granaries and build some more farms i was like wait pause the game and left and just jumped into minecraft and built one of those what is okay we got a bush shrine explain <laughs> please <laughs> the bush <laughs> It is a little bit debatable uh, shape-wise, but... Uh, yeah, I, that thing, I think I knew you were coming and just kind of popped up over here to, to honor the bush god. <laughs> the bush, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I love it. And how about this? Is this like an arena? Is this a fortress? Is this Yeah, like so a... this was actually my original iron farm back in, or I guess 113 and below. So this was an iron farm. I took all the chests out because it doesn't work and... There's a bunch of villagers trapped in there from the old iron farm. I don't know if any have survived, but I turned it into like a gladiator style arena in here with, you know, using some redstone inside here. <laughs> so you nah, might find so a few nice. villagers around this area, but. Fweep, we're not done yet. We've got this over here. Tell me about this. I like this. There's so many little bits and pieces decoration wise. Yeah, this was, I came over here and wanted to use pillagers. I was like, pillagers, patrols spawn all over the world. I need to give them something. So I want to make it look like this side of the river was destroyed by pillagers. They came and raided the village, just completely destroyed things. There's fires all over the place. And then somehow they're stopped when they're trying to cross the bridge. And so we've got the village on the other side that's more built up and not destroyed. <laughs> Dude, this is like, I love the, like, the storytelling. And that, that part, well, is about becomes quite amazing, especially like when working on a world for so long long time, right? Because you get mm -hmm. all those like story pieces, story elements, like, yeah, this was this idea, this was this idea. I like it. Yeah, I wanted to start going down this road of explaining where a lot of the mobs inside of Minecraft come from, just from a few other friends who have done some similar things. I was like, you know, I kind of want to tackle that. And so this was kind of when 114 launched and everything. I was like, I've got to got to make up a story about why the pillagers are here like what are they doing or at least give them a purpose to like attach them to the world instead of those random guys that we hate wandering around the entire place bugging us while we're building uh up here was actually the area where i wanted to explain wandering traders so we've got a little bit of an ikea themed village as <laughs> my community has started to call it uh this little bit of wandering trader caravan around here so we have some some of them that weirdly enough never despawned They've just kind of stuck around here the entire time. Uh, so they're over here. There's a small oasis. And one of the first fossils I ever found in the world was actually in the bottom of this ravine over here uh, on the south side of it. This was actually a naturally generated fossil in here that in a ravine where I was making the road going through this area, which leads to a bigger build down that way. And I just found this thing. I was like, All right, I have to no terraform way. this and turn this into like an actual like excavation site of sorts. And it, it just worked out way too well to have this down here. Dude, this is so nice. This mm -hmm. is so neat. And the fossils, like, I'm not a professional, okay? But do they really exist in Minecraft? Like, Yeah, like... they are so rare, but they do. I think it's oh, desert man. biomes and swamp biomes are the only place to find them. And even that is super rare to find them underground. But you need to dig a little bit, right? Or how does this... Yeah, work? yeah, they're all... Like, that. I think this is about the highest level they can be. I <laughs> I don't know the technical side of the game. I just build pretty things. Oh my god, I see stuff in the distance. And by the way, like there is paths in between every place you've built, right? As I can see over here, is a path leading. So like you could walk the distance, right? Mm -hmm. In a path. Yeah, a big thing for me is I want a world that I can explore. If I'm ever bored, I want to be able to just take a road and just walk and find something. I don't want to have to... My big goal is like I have another hub set up so I can get around quickly. But if I want to explore, I want to be able to walk to everywhere. I don't want to have to travel thousands of blocks to 
to like get somewhere new just to be able to see something. Yeah, I totally understand. And I mean, look, just look at this. I'm speechless. Like I'm doing stuff in, in survival and I'm mostly like creative builder. Like I usually build in creative back in the day. And mm -hmm. now I'm doing stuff in survival. I mean, it is such a pain. Like I feel your pain <laughs> and just look, look at this. I can mean, yeah, the, oh I would my. say the most painful thing of like builds like this is because this is like a, obviously like a ruined castle. It's very much like rubbly and broken down and doing that and adding in like the texture to all of it, like the cobblestone, the andesites and stones and everything in here was that was easily the hardest part of all of it. I can just imagine, like, especially like from, <laughs> for myself, like my my like inventory management is terrible. Like, oh, God, I'm so yeah. <laughs> I'm so bad with it. It's like uh, I always forget something. I need to run back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, the, just... the Shulker Mountains get <laughs> they're <laughs> everywhere. Right? <laughs> Man, look at the trees. This is custom man trees as well, right? Yeah. Yeah, a little little tiny spruce guys. I've been loving building custom trees with fences. Like just using fences as like looks the, so good. Looks so good. Yeah. For it. I've been messing around doing some with like walls, like the since we have so many more walls, like the granite wall and the andesite wall actually work out pretty well if you're trying to do some trees in there too. I haven't even thought about that. Yeah, it's huh. a little bit more of like a just let it, just let it happen, but it works. <laughs> it's, I'm sorry, so I'm, I'm just, I'm just blown away. It's okay if I just fly up just to check this out from. Totally. Oh my. <laughs> This is this is this is really 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 nice. Look at the bridge over here. So what's the story behind this, by the way? Uh, this one was supposed to be like an ancient castle, like hundreds of years old type thing that was destroyed way way long ago. And if you see off into the distance, eh, it looks like it might just be outside of render distance, but way off in that way, right in opposite of where the castle is, mm -hmm. uh, there's actually the end portals over there. You see a little pillar popping up if you go close enough to it, just a little yeah, stone so pillar. And I was yeah. Originally, I was going to make that into like something where like this end evil force was seeping out and maybe like the dragon escaped and destroyed this castle here. Uh, and then like there's a if you look down in the area here, the, there's a little outline of where a village was and some farmland with a little bit of wheat dotted around and everything like that. So I tried to make it feel like this whole village and everything here is just ancient rubble was destroyed years and years ago and was kind of linking it into that excavation site that we were just at with the giant skeleton, the fossil. Of like something came out of the end, destroyed this place, and it was like hurt in the process, traveled up and died in the desert, which was where they then excavated out the ruins right now. So kind of connecting everything up together a little loosely <laughs> like that. Man, I love the storytelling. Dude, look at this. There's a little like mine shaft over here as well. You've built a little uh, elevator type of scenario or deal. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah. This it is works. Nice. <laughs> Of, of course it does and i'm like i mean just seeing this from from above there's so much detail in it yeah this one adding all the detail in this i of all the projects i think like this one probably took the longest this was i've been only doing this youtube gig for full time for about six months now and this one was one of the first projects i tackled when i made that leap it was one of the most time consuming things coming through in here and just detailing all this stuff. I was like, man, I this would take me like three weeks to get a video done normally if I just went and did it at the normal pace I was doing. I was like, yeah, it's a good thing. I just spent all day working on it. I'm just thinking like, wouldn't it be just easier to build this uh, not destroyed? Like It like, probably you know, would have. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, You'll see here in a little bit. I've got I've got a few castles in this world that are already fully built and functional and everything. So I figured having one that was destroyed and different than the rest would have been kind of a cool addition. So nah, this is this is really nice. Yeah. Speechless, unbelievable, and amazing. There are a lot of berry bushes around here, so it is a little bit dangerous. Oh dude, I'm used to them. Bubbles, uh, beat ups placing them all over the place. <laughs> I am sure. Flipping hate them. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> they look so good though. <laughs> I know. But it hurts so bad. Yeah. It hurts so Beauty much. Beauty is pain. Beauty is pain. <laughs> Yeah, coming up through here, this place is absolutely surrounded by sweet berries because I want to give it like a function behind the whole thing for Tree. the villagers. Maybe are like harvesting sweet berries and whatnot. And then on the inside of it, there's a few little wheat fields so they can do their own breeding and everything in there. So it's like a fully functional village inside the gates. And it's just kind of a little bit of a switch oh, through over here. Okay, and... I just like, you know, like, like small details, like, you know, this oak tree which you have placed over there. Just... Mm -hmm. 
I don't know, just frames the picture so nicely outside the gates. I'm coming in. Oh my, oh my. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, so this Ooh. one's a... Sorry. <laughs> it's, it's a little loud in here. There's a... A lot of the a lot of the dudes just hanging around, but this whole place is. Uh, I tried to keep the style of the new villager buildings that they created, and just created workstations and everything throughout this entire spot. I even I think this place is actually where I've done the most interiors out of any of the builds. That is one thing I am oh, very bad about doing, but in here I, I tried to make it work. Oh, I absolutely adore the the windows. Mm -hmm. So nice looking, especially in shaders as well. Oh man, this is nice. Really, really nice. But 76 days uh, gameplay, right? You say? Yeah. <laughs> it's been it's nuts. Yeah, I, I. the sad part is very little of that has been spent AFK. <laughs> I, I don't like to sit around and just like let resources come in or anything like that. So like I built the mob farm and I was like, hey, well, the, well I'm working in the area. The mob farm can do its thing and everything like that. So like inside this one we got a big old chapel and unfortunately all of my villagers seem to be trapped up here <laughs> they they really what? like the bell at the top of the tower ah. up here so they all just kind of come up here and <laughs> hang out and <laughs> it's like we just want a view of the entire village oh man you know what i just need to fly up because this is phenomenal Ooh, now i see what you mean about the bushes okay um yeah this is much worse than bubbles beat ups uh, places <laughs> system not as many it's meant oh to be my. like almost like a vineyard of sorts. There's this little dude at a little campsite outside of the town. This guy, somehow he got stuck inside this berry bush and he just refuses to move. He's been, he's stuck been there here for like he's been, two years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Since I built this village, he's been here. <laughs> but at least he's alive, right? I mean, mm -hmm. obviously you're not playing on peaceful, right? So there's got to be zombies about uh, and whatnot. Yeah, as long as he doesn't move, I think he's safe because there's no way for a zombie to get to him because he's surrounded by berry bushes. It had died before. This is a nice transformation. Was there anything before you built this, or there was maybe a village here before? Or yeah, this was just... a full village beforehand. Most of the houses that were here, I I did a little bit of terraforming, like the cliffs and things. But most of the places where the houses are, and like where even the pasture for like all these little sheep and uh, the horse and everything over here, mm -hmm. like that was one of the pastures like by default. So I didn't. I think I maybe added one or two buildings to this entire area, but everything else was just here. Like, all of them were just kind of here laid out. Like, I added the wall and the gatehouses and everything like that, obviously. But everything else was just Damn. kind of here on its lonesome. Like, here's even one of the original houses that I never really got around to transforming because it was a little too far outside the village. But can you just imagine, uh, like, a micro village see, like, looking like this? Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, just look at the gatehouse. This is really... Oh, man. Can, I, can you go up in this? Uh, from the inside, yeah, there's little ladders. I tried to make it so the villagers couldn't <laughs> couldn't do much to get inside. Uh, but I think the ladders uh, right over here. Here's the, here we go. Okay, let's yeah. check this out. This is nice. Like I think I left the interiors of one of these blank, but it's, it's enough. It's functional. You can walk around and see everything. I just, uh, it's beautiful. Man. Yeah, I, I even added on the little hill behind us. Uh, yeah. right up here there's the little waterfall and everything and wanted to make uh obviously i needed a nether portal down here and i didn't want to put it in the village because all my villagers would end up in the nether somehow so we've got almost like a witch's hut up here almost hobbity hole style oh uh, with a tree growing outside the top of it and it's very very cramped on the inside of this one but nice little like witch's hut or something <laughs> oh, inside of here man. and then that comes down and we actually got the nether portal in here that connects into everything else so they see me nice whip. They see me nay nay. This is a oh, whip whip. This is beautiful. Absolutely <laughs> nice. Yeah, so that's kind of that's actually everything to this end of the world. Most of the other stuff is actually back up towards the desert village and then heading up the other way. So So let's move on. Like I'm just yeah, gonna have one more aer right. aerial shot of that. Like the wall itself, like I mean I'm not gonna say it's simple, but it's fairly simple. But but the looks of it and the functionalities, huh? I, I figured, figured about... everything else in the city was so... There's so much happening in the city between the campfires being all the smoke, all the bushes around, villagers moving around, that something just like a straight, simple wall might... Like, I, wa I was originally testing ideas that were way, way busier than this one. And then I just worked with this, and I figured just the variety of having the strip logs and then the regular oak logs, like, mm -hmm. that was enough to make it work. Dude, look at this. 
Oh yeah. my So this it, is it this is the big going. area. That, yeah, it's <laughs> this is this is very big. If your frames drop here, I'm sorry. There's a lot of things going on. <laughs> oh, they, they dropped ages ago. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I I can't I can't believe you're doing this in survival, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this city this. is uh, absolutely massive. This has been. I think the biggest survival project I am ever going to tackle and yeah, this this city has been what I've been working on for a lot of the time in the last few months. <laughs> like we had a village back in, Bubbles has been doing a village uh, in in season seven or season six, mm -hmm. but it was nothing, uh, well, it was amazing, but it was uh, size wise a little bit smaller. Yeah, I think I've had a few more months than he did working on this one, so I think that's all fair. <laughs> oh, whip, whip, whip. You know what I like? I like the, the pinkish roofing as well. It gives a little bit of, uh, I don't know, it pops yeah, out I, so I much. Didn't want, I feel like a lot of the Minecraft cities that you look at that people make is always like one or two colors for the roof. And so in this one, I wanted to add a lot of color. I want to add a lot of variety to it and just like make it look like they're using everything that they possibly could. So there's a lot of different colors around here. Oh my, oh my, oh my. And the beautiful castle here as well. Yeah, so this castle was... I tried to make it like a mage castle. I wanted to do something with end crystals. And I realized that they are awful to build with because they explode every time something touches them or gets near them. So mm -hmm. they've... Uh, <laughs> I've had to rebuild the front gate of the castle. Many, many times do those end crystals exploding. <laughs> I've been like working on the front, texturing it or something, and a skeleton sitting down here is like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to ruin this guy's day. <gasps> Try making like a, there's four towers here for like the different schools of the place. I can't remember what I called all the different schools and everything. Uh, and then I had like a fifth one back here for like the archmage of sorts would be, he would be back in here and like he had his own little private study area and place to just hang out. Whip. This is even a little like church cathedral thing over here. What is that? I, is I would bell? have you, uh, uh, yeah, it's a little custom iron huh. bell. Have you looked so at nice. uh, everything up in this area <laughs> behind the behind the church? Uh, no. Uh, just start wandering up this way. What is this? I haven't seen. Oh crap! Is it loading? This is my custom mountain project. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm just gonna wait for this to load. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Dude, you're like Mr. No Lifer. Holy crap, how do you do this? <laughs> this is this has been along with I kind of take breaks from the city and move over to the mountains and back to the city and back to the mountains and no, kind of hop back and forth way. between these. So this is uh well, everything up here has been placed by hand. <laughs> Snow layers and all. This is insane, but the looks of it, I mean, how the snow just falls down like a, like a glacier, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, used, I live in the Pacific Northwest of the United States, so uh -huh. there's a huge mountain range right by me, the Cascade Mountains, and I grew up going up there skiing and everything and like just hiking and all that stuff like all year round. And so I finally was just like, you know what, I want to bring some of my home into my Minecraft world. So these are kind of my modeled loosely off of those and just kind of a lot of the detail <laughs> it's very I mean, dark underneath uh, it's yeah kind of, I'm, uh, just, I'm just in the background it's I a mean, mob, just it's a mob pit this. down there <laughs> oh my gosh yeah that's that's gonna be a fun project i guess <laughs> so, much, <laughs> so much to place yeah, it's been it's been a lot of work. It's a great live stream project. I've realized. <laughs> well, yeah, you kind of make sense, yeah. But uh, oh my, just oh like my. sit down, and be like, all right, I'm just gonna chat with people. They'll keep me sane. I'll spend about three hours, and then we go from there. But if you jump down to the front of the this little village down here, this is like a Nordic inspired village. Uh, and one thing that I love about these places, a lot of things I've tried to tackle when going through these is had it adding like height variation a lot of like minecraft villages are just flat there's maybe like a block mm -hmm. or two a variation as you're going up so this one i tried like really making it feel like you're going up a hill like the village is actually built on a hill in its own so you kind of like keep going up and i think it just adds such a cool perspective to the area there's just so much to see and kind of like 
a lot of these trees and the structures like block the sight lines of the building so it kind of encourages encourages the player to like keep wandering and keep moving forward just to find new things throughout it yeah like i mean innovations in minecraft they do so much especially like mm -hmm. having like you know like like as you say like a village right because usually the houses tend to be the same height and not in this case right but if you just place like let's say like the same height uh same same um same uh height of a house in different elevation it just like i mean it just looks so 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 much better and in this yeah, case but, totally. but wait, I, i'm kind of like want to go into this house because i like this oh yeah that was supposed to be like a mess hall like dining hall of sorts whatever you <laughs> whatever that would be called yeah yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> ah <laughs> This is like a, on a whole new level. <laughs> this, this, one, like... it, this was such a fun project to work on. This one was really cool because as I was building the village, I was like, I can completely sculpt the terrain around here to do whatever I want with it. Like everything up here is like, I can really just do whatever. So even like little side pathways and everything to get around the village, there's little hidden pathways through the trees to get up like to a forge area or just a little outhouses hidden in the back, some taverns, random statues in the area, and there's just so, so much. Uh, yeah, and uh, and I mean, this is not even done yet, right? Because I see, I do see like a little bit, bit of um, blue. Yeah, the mountains are gonna keep going. I'm not, I'm really not sure how to <laughs> keep them moving, but they're gonna keep moving over this way for sure. Um, I don't know how far back they're gonna go at this point in time. My goal was like with this world was kind of to divide a fantasy world with like kind of orcs and goblins and dwarves and elves and everything like that away from this more kind of human based world being like with like I know there's the wizards and everything but like less magic and things over here. So I kind of wanted the mountain range to almost be like that dividing factor instead of just be like oh well here we moved into a different plains bottom. This is where the magic stuff starts. So I want to make like a something that would actually kind of explain the the difference of the areas for it did i love it i'm not sure you've played the witcher and uh, uh wild hunt uh but what i love about the witcher uh, game is that uh, you have the, all those different islands mm -hmm. and uh, obviously different people uh, and such and it just changes so much like the the, st the style music yeah. changes and it's just i don't know it just makes the game the best game ever made and by the way this world you said it was up for download for your patreons yeah, I've decided to put it up for download this time around for patrons and pretty much any Twitch sub or YouTube member or whatever <laughs> to go this time. Just uh, for everybody who wants to get their hands on it, I figured I'd give it, leave it there for available. But unfortunately, the Minecraft community is so bad about trying to take other people's work and claim it as their own. So yeah. sure this time it'd be a little bit more safer for myself as I've <laughs> I was like, I put three years of work into this world. I don't want to see it taken for somebody and yeah, distributed. Yeah, totally sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the worst i've been there many 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 times yeah it's, i'm it's, sure it's, being a creative builder yourself it's it happens yeah, to everybody which is unfortunate like, you can't stop it you can't prevent it from happening right but it, mm -hmm. it does it, it does hurt inside i cry <laughs> i cry every time so tell me like let's move on and by the way this is custom trees as well all over the place yes Yes, so this whole area is all custom spruce trees and these little skinny guys have tried to cause like aspen trees almost. And there's a few different varieties of them all the way around here, but I want to have spruce trees in this area and I figured they would be too blocky and full if it was just kind of those throughout the entire place. So I needed a smaller tree that was much, much skinnier and small. So we got those guys in here and it's the forest is still expanding as it goes around. I can only build so many custom trees at once before I'm like, eh, and I'm done the map of the entire world. So all the way at the bottom oh down here, gosh. you can see the little uh, village remake that we did and you can see the whole road coming up to where the ruined castle is. Everything in here. I know it's a little bit bright oh with the man. shaders, I'm sure, but yeah, no, don't worry about it. Like uh, over here or something else, we need to check it out. I see some some ships. Is that a, is that a castle? Yes, what is that, that is the first castle I built in the world, Ew. and it's honestly one of my favorite. I, I, that's going to be a good one, dude. I, okay, so we got the this is the uh, the northern village. This is the desert village. We got the beautiful uh, city where we at now. We got the, the castle ruin. We got the V and the village modification over here or remake. Mm -hmm. And is there anything in this part of the map which we haven't Nothing seen? Nothing there yet. That's kind of been. <laughs> There's a gravel biome down there. That's been where I've been. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> 
But uh, should we maybe make our way south then? Oh, man. So this is where it all started. Uh, this was the first castle project, yeah. So the desert village was where I started originally, but this is kind of where I was like, all right, I, I'm going to start going big. <laughs> it's uh, it's fairly huge. And uh, this area, was there like any, like the island was there from the beginning and you just kind of expand upon that or how did it go? Yeah, so the, the island was here. The little waterway was here behind it. And uh, as I mentioned, this is the only waterway to get into this big ocean area in the center. And so I was like, all right, what it would make, kind it would kind of make sense to have some form of defense out here. So I figured this would make a cool spot to have a castle because I always had like that port city planned in the back of my mind and never thought I would actually be insane enough to tackle it. <laughs> and now we're here. Uh, so I figured the castle was a good way to kind of get started with that of moving forward with everything. And this is really where I started to kind of, this is where <laughs> I feel like I really learned like my build style. Dude. Like I've been, I've been on the Darwin Reforged server uh, where they're using Conquest, the Reforged, mm -hmm. and you know the possibilities with all those blocks, extra blocks. It just uh, you know gives you a whole different game, and seeing this, it is so close to the to those castles on Darwin Reforged. Yeah, like, I mean, funny enough, on that one, I actually uh, I was on the original dev team for making Conquest Reforged, so I'm uh, for real. Wow. I am pretty familiar with that one. Dude, like, uh, like every time I go log online over there, uh, I'm like, oh, hallelujah. Like, I mean, the possibilities are endless. Yeah, that, that thing's insane, but it's almost at the point where it's like, is this even Minecraft anymore? Like, there's just so many yeah. things. So, for me, like, I my YouTube channel actually started out doing conquest builds because I was like, all right, I want to try and grow the community using our mod and everything like that. So, I was doing a lot of builds originally with that stuff, and then kind of realized, I was like, all right, I, I want to... I want to take this YouTube thing to the next level, and I think vanilla is going to be the way to go with it. And then brought all the building things I learned over there and picked up there and turned it into what we can do here with some vanilla blocks. This is beautiful. I do love like those, like, for example, this wooden tower top over here. It's such a nice contrast to all the stone uh, mm -hmm. otherwise. And as well, like those, uh, those are, like boardwalks or not boardwalks. What are you going to call them? Uh, those are like uh, uh, balconies Rampart? over here. Yeah, 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 some fortification or something. I don't really know. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, let's go. You know what? Let's go inside. Boom. <laughs> so, have you? Is like, is it like done on the inside as well? Like the interior? There's a like, there's uh, a few areas with the interior done. A lot of the areas are just uh, no floors, <laughs> but some things are done. Um, <laughs> not so much over on this side. Dog kennel jail below. Yeah, okay. I want to have like the dog, the little Game of Thrones inspiration for this mm -hmm. one. I feel like the dog kennel, then, you know, really make the people who are thrown in the jail here feel bad about them, about their decisions and everything. So put the dogs above them and then they're perfect they're down, <laughs> down there. Ooh, look at this. A little trebuchet. Yeah. Or catapult. Uh, yeah, my, one of those two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. That is, that is nice. Like so few blocks. Yeah, this I, this was about as small as I could make it. <laughs> I, I needed something to fit in here, and this was about what I could come up with. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> a little village outside as well. Or is that a village? There's a little harbor area over here, right? Yeah, little... I wanted to add in a small like fishing village of sorts over here, just because I figure the castle will be here. So obviously there'd be some boats that might not be allowed through to get into the major port city. So maybe they would be stopping out here to kind of trade their goods off into the land and then some carts could take it in or something along those lines. So I want to add a small like fishing village of sorts in here just to this add an is... extra element to it. What have you used for, for roofing? This, that is, what is that? That is uh, jungle, jungle wood is the green one. and spruce. Ah, that is a fantastic combination of, of blocks. Mm hmm Oh, there's a little, oh, look, look at this, for example. A little pumpkin card just flipped. This was, <laughs> that is I was re-watching like... uh, Avatar The Last Airbender. <laughs> <laughs> While I was working on this pathway, I was just bored. I was like, all right, I need some cartoony thing in the background. <laughs> And I just that I was working through here, and the guy who's who has his cabbage cart flip over constantly. I was just like, all right, I, I have to add an ode into that. So it's like, we don't have cabbages, but we got pumpkins and melons. Ooh, look at yeah, look at the back of the of the bank. This is a nice staircase design. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I love this one. It works out really, really well. 
Okay, this is a little sque a sneaky screenshot from my side. I'm going to steal that idea. I'm going to sell it on eBay. There we go. <laughs> No, but that is actually you, you can have that one. That is, you can have that no, one. No, 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 no. That is actually really nice. Because that is a tricky part as well. Building like, you know, okay, we have like 20 blocks up. How do we get up, right? And I mean, mm -hmm. judging from the from the size, obviously that's maybe four, five, six, maybe like 15 blocks out. Uh, but what a fantastic design. <laughs> Hello. And then well, over here, like this is meant where, to be a little bit of like a grocery sorry, store. Where did you get the inspiration for, for the city from? Is there like inspiration? Uh, is there like a source of inspiration for this? Nah, um, not really. Individual buildings, maybe, but the whole thing coming together, not not so much. It's just kind of random. Insane. A lot of it's just like I need a building to go here. It'll fit this theme somehow, and then okay, let's go. <laughs> Absolute adorness. Okay, where did you, where did you go? Uh, oh, this yeah. one inside of here is like a grocery store. So try to throw in a bunch of random little blocks and just things all over the place, and huh. it works out. There's a few little places like got some coral over here that's trying to be like blueberries and things, and I'm not really sure what the honey block is supposed to be, but <laughs> it works out. <laughs> I think this one actually I did the upper floors. Yeah, it looks like I did. And so again, those like small rooms that we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, like you know, it's it's very cramped, but but look at this. Like, there's a little hallway over here, right? And you go around this, it kind of opens up to a bigger thing, and then it goes up even further. Little yeah, there's attic. some bedrooms up here. I look, I tried to this, this, I tried this. to build everything like scaled around the Minecraft player. I feel like a lot of people build <laughs> interiors that are very much like scaled around like very big and open, which can it works. It works really well. But I like to go very much Minecraft player scaled. Thank you so much for inviting me. I've been having an absolute blast and so much inspiration. You have no idea how many screenshots I've taken. And <laughs> a lot of screenshots. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, Kralis. I, re I really do appreciate it, as I mentioned. No it's been, problem. It's been my, awesome having you as a pleasure. guest and being able to show the world off a little bit more here. So thank you, everybody else, for watching and everything like that. I, I'm sure everybody on my side has heard of the great Corrales so far, but if you yeah, have I'm not, not so please, great. I'm, I'm not, not so please great. Be sure not so great. Check out but thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so, so much. And uh, vice versa, I would say. Full links in the description, ladies and gentlemen. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't to us both. And uh, we're going to see you guys in the next video. All <laughs> right, shush, shush, shush. I'm going to stay I, 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 I'm sorry, Cross. I, I got I to gotta do it. I got to do it. Well, we will catch you on the flip side. <laughs> I love it. I love it's it. It's great. It's a great pun. It's a great pun. <laughs> it is.